let's say that you stop eating at like 6 p.m., okay? 6 p.m. or even 7 p.m. It's very common for people today to have a little layer of supper that way. And all of a sudden, so that's zero. So you had last food. Now, if you fast, and once again, and you have, you start to, you start to reduce your intake and you bring in no food for 12 hours, there's a increase of growth hormone. Uh, I want you to think about this. That's why when people say, um, you know some doc, you need to eat every couple hours. I'm like, all right, what are you trying to accomplish? What are you trying to accomplish when you try to eat every couple hours? And uh, well, I need enough nutrients. Uh, that's not true, you can get enough nutrients. I would tell you right now, the reason why people, when they say that they have to get enough nutrients, so they have to eat every couple hours, that means the density and the nutritional value of the food is very little. It really is. Because I can tell you right now, most people's meal, the majority of people's meals that they eat in breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I can beat it just by doing three ounces of liver. Three ounces. From fat soluble vitamins to trace minerals to everything. See, so it's not really about having enough nutrients, okay? So that's why, once again, that you want to do is you want to get to that 12 hour state. So let's say this. So let's say that you stop eating at six o'clock and you don't snack, get to bed at 10, guess what happens? By six o'clock in the morning, the following day, you're starting to get some growth hormone. That's a cool thing. Growth hormone's good for repair, regeneration. It's really important. Testosterone's very important. Estrogen's very important.